suspension race for African American students continues in Omaha Public Schools. And the district sat down with Lena Tillette to talk about an aggressive plan to fix the issue. And she joins us live now with an update. Yeah, John and Mallory, at six, we talked about the latest suspension numbers from the 2014 2015 school years. It shows that African American students overall continue to be disproportionately suspended. Last year, the state told OPS it needed to use $1.8 million of federal money it receives to address the issue of high numbers of African American special needs students being suspended. Well, the district says it is aggressively working on a completely new strategy and spent half a million dollars on training just this year. The new policy is a three-tiered approach. The first tier is spending the time teaching all students what the expectation of behavior is. For example, at the start of next year, teachers will spend one or two weeks just talking about classroom behavior. At the second tier, small group instruction will be provided for students who struggle a bit more. And at the third tier, that's for students who might have learning or behavioral disabilities, providing one-on-one -on -one instruction and intervention. Now, this is all in an effort to keep kids in school. The assistant superintendent tells me this year's training has already been transformative for some teachers. We recognize this disproportionality is very serious. and We want to give our teachers the tools to be successful. Because if there have been occurrences, it hasn't been with intentionality. But regardless of the intention, we have to address to make sure it doesn't continue in the future. Now, implementation of this strategy happens in phases, 12 schools next year and 30 schools the following year. Dr. Kerberg says it has been proven to work in other cities across this nation. It's been working for years, so they're really hoping to see results in the next couple of years. But they do caution that you will not see lower numbers for the next few years. John and Mallory. All right, thank you. That's Lena Tillette reporting live. And Iowa 